Concepts of Shaft Alignment Offset and Angularity In shaft alignment, the shaft of the driven machine is typically considered stationary, while the other, the shaft of the driver, is movable. The movable shaft is adjusted in relation to the stationary shaft to bring both shafts into alignment and to satisfy machinery alignment tolerances. In this video, we will be alternating between 3D view and graphical view. In graphical view, the horizontal length of each square represents 20 mm, while the vertical length of each square represents 0.1 mm. While we'll be only working in the vertical plane, the same concepts also apply to the horizontal plane. Before we start, let's measure and indicate in our graph view the positions of the front and back feet of the stationary machine, the centre of the coupling and the front and back feet of the movable machine. Beginning with our shafts in perfect alignment, let's introduce some offset misalignment by raising the front and back feet of the movable machine equally by 0.4 mm. The movable shaft center line is now offset from the stationary shaft center line by 0.4 mm at every point along its length. Because we added the same amount to both the front and the back feet, the shafts are parallel. There is no angular misalignment, so our offset misalignment is 0.4 mm and our angularity is 0.0 mm. In our next example, we will induce both offset and angular misalignment by raising only the back feet by 0.4 mm while leaving the front feet where they are. Now, the movable shaft centerline is sitting 0.4 mm high at the back feet, while sitting at 0 mm of offset at the front feet. So, what is our angularity? In geometry, this concept is called slope or rise over run. Angularity, or slope, expresses the amount of rise or fall of the movable shaft over each unit of measurement along the shaft's length. Angularity is expressed as millimetres by 100 millimetres. From the graph, we can see that the shaft rises 0.4 millimetres between the front and back feet of the motor. The distance between the front and back feet of the motor is 10 blocks across, or 200 millimetres. Divide the rise of 0.4 mm by the run of 200 mm to get the angularity, which is 0.2 mm by 100 mm. Now, what about the offset? As you can see from the graph, the offset is now a different amount at every point along the shaft centre lines. You might ask, why is the offset expressed as a single number? It is because there is a standard reference point for offset misalignment, here at the plane of power transmission, typically at the centre of the coupling. The graph shows the offset is 0.4 mm at the back feet and 0 mm at the front feet. We know that the offset changes by 0.2 mm for every 100 mm we move along the shaft. The coupling centre is 80 mm from the front feet. Over those 80 mm, the movable shaft will drop an additional 0.16 mm. 80 mm times 0.2 mm. Therefore, the offset at the coupling centre is minus 0.16 mm. In this example, the movable shaft is sitting low at the coupling but high at the rear feet. Since we induce the angular misalignment by adding 0.4 mm to the rear feet, the only way to correct the misalignment is by removing 0.4 mm to lower the rear feet. Please visit FixtureLaser.com for more information. Fixture Laser. Express alignment through real innovation.